of uh, yesterday, and she was born in Illinois, or Indiana, and was picked out in an early age. You were asking how the dog was done. She was picked at an early age to go into the service dog program. She would either go into the seeing eye dog program or another service type program. Take it down. Oh, what? Down. Down. And uh, when she was born, she was raised up to, I'm not sure how old, but when she was still a child, she was sent to the Indiana State Prison System, where she was raised up by prisoners. That way she did not become emotionally attached to any one person until she went to the handler that would end up with her. When she got up to a certain age, then she went to the Seeing Eye Dog program. And she was trained for her discipline and obedience through the Seeing Eye Dog program. For one reason or another, she did not qualify for the program. And it could be something as simple as she stepped off of the curb, she barked, uh, she could have been walking with the trainer and stepped in front of the trainer. 98% of the dogs that go through the Seeing Eye Dog program do not qualify for one reason or another. Anyway, at the point where she was disqualified from that, then she went into the Accelerant Sniffing program where she was sent to Illinois. And she spent eight weeks in Illinois doing scent discrimination, picking up on the different scents that she will be working on throughout her life. Um, she went to the state of Maine four weeks before I did. And they finished her up over there, training her in Maine. And then I went and spent four weeks in Maine, not to be trained as she was, but to train on how to handle the dog and to make her work. She is a smart dog. She's a very good dog. And she likes to work. When she works, uh, she works really well. Um, she knows when it's time to be a dog, such as now. She knows when it's time to play. We were playing a little bit while ago. Sometimes in the evening we have a tennis ball and we throw the tennis ball and she goes and fetches and brings it back. But when it's time to work, she knows when it is. We go to work quite well. We have yet to do a fire seat in Brownwood or Brown County, but we're waiting, and we'll get our chance soon enough. But she is available to go anywhere in Brownwood, Brown County, or any of the surrounding counties on that. Uh, she was obtained through a grant through State Farm Insurance, where they paid for the dog, the training, uh, my time to go to Maine, my airfare, the whole nine yards. Uh, she flew back on the plane with me in the cabin. She did not have to go into the crate and go into baggage. She flew at my feet. She is a licensed law enforcement animal, just like a police dog or a drug dog. Uh, she has her own badge. Uh, we're still waiting on the first paycheck, but <laughs> we had our insurance sign up the other day, and I asked them about insurance for the dog, they looked at me. So. And then he stepped on her foot, so... <laughs> But she doesn't, she doesn't move around a lot when we're somewhere, unless I tell her to or, or we get to play. She's, she's still a pup, and she still likes to play. <laughs> we play in the morning when we get ready to get dressed. Like our belly rub. <laughs> we play with our tail. Her name is Nika. We're going to start going to the schools in a couple of weeks for fire prevention. Now, she she's living at your home, right? Yes, ma'am. She lives at my house. So when, when like, because I'm such an animal person and my dogs are still rotten, but when she's at the house, is she allowed to play? She's a house dog at she's the house. She's a house dog at the house. <laughs> she she plays and my kids play with her. And she's, I think 
I say, she knows when it's time to go to work. I have a feed pouch, uh -huh. and in a minute I'll, I'll put some drops out, training aids, and then we'll go around and we'll find them for you, and she'll sit. She doesn't bark. She's not, she is a passive alert, which means when she finds something, she'll put her nose on it or she'll lay down on it, but she does not bark. She does nothing but accelerants. Uh, in a house fire where we have, or a structure fire, any type of fire where we think it was set with a petroleum based product, she can go in and, and pinpoint where it was put. Um, cuts down on my investigative time by hours. I, I can narrow it down to an area, but she can narrow it down to the spot where, where the drops were or the liquid was actually put. And what we're using is drops. In a, in a fire, where a intentionally set fire, they usually pour gallons. Yeah. So she can she can pinpoint the area a lot quicker than I can. Any questions? Her service life should be five to seven years. Um, I will have to go every year to go and get her recertified. Uh, it takes three days to recertify the dogs because we do three different drills and she has to pass all three of them and one of them being a blind test where a chemist will send a set of containers and they're all numbered and we have to find the right one. Nika. Yeah. Good girl. There's a good girl. Um, good five to seven years. And it's usually her hips. Um, the, the dog's hips are what usually takes them out of the program because of the walking they have to do on uneven terrain and, and things like that. So after that five years, then, will you have the option of keeping her as a pet? No, I have no option. She's going to be mine. Oh, she's here. Okay. She's, she's mine until one of us dies. So. Okay. <laughs> um, when her service life is up, I have the option, since I'm already in the program, to go back to Maine and get another dog. Uh -huh. uh, 